Come, my friends, be still. Relinquish your grasp. Climb the sacred mountain you never left, for this is our God-given task. Penetrate the rarefied air of cool, clean, clear, open expanse. Let us meet upon the peak there to gaze upon eternity as one alone. This is all I wanted and this is all I needed. And it's amazing that it's, it's, it's I was craving for simplicity or for a space to just be. Mm. And, and this is what I got. And at the same time, I thought I was, it was going to be a very sort of lonely experience, but it was actually, it was, it was, uh, I was alone, but I was also connected to everyone and in a very beautiful way. And, um, and I felt like on some level that I kind of found my spiritual self because I'd been seeking and I'd been doing a bit of meditation here and here and there, but this was very much like discovering mm. myself, mm. you know, mm. discovering this thing that I can tap into, which is amazing and beautiful and uh, so, so valuable. So it's amazing because I come now to the last day and I feel like even though I haven't even said a word <coughs> to most people, I feel like I know the, the inside of everyone, you know, like mm. I can feel the love feeling mm. like going through everybody and it's amazing. It's like deeper than words mm. i can definitely say that this this week changed me and this this week has a huge impact on on my life and i will give meditation a lot more space in my life because i see how big it is and how mm. how it connected me how it connected all of us and this um yeah it it just yeah just to know just to experience or just to be one it was so amazing. I just realized that actually what was going on in me was going on in everybody. Mm. And it was so amazing. It was, it was just so clear how there was just one consciousness in this field here. New Year's Eve, when we wrote down our <laughs> things that we wanted to let go of mm. for, the, for the rest of the year and uh, one by one we threw them into the fire. That was so powerful, that was so moving. It, it feels like a, just the start of an unravelling process. Um, and, and I think, you know, that the way that we just had that space to really just keep going deeper and deeper and deeper was just, yeah, it's unbelievable. And um, I think, I think, uh, yeah, wow, it just feels just like this, just the start of something really big, mm -hmm. just really big, and um, and I and I can tell that it's had a, it's this is going to impact the rest of my life. Mm. What is the eye that desires, likes, and dislikes? Nothing really. Mm. What is the eye that is unsatisfied? Nothing, nothing. The night you were sharing, or we were sharing, and you know, some love came up in my heart out of nothing, because of what I heard, and that was actually the first time in my life that I understood something about um, human communication. I never really understood it, and I, I, phew, I got like, oh, it is something, you know, it's not just yeah. blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. I'm just. It feels like I'm just. Um, seeing for the first time. I'm just tasting for the first time. I'm just listening like I did last night for the first time in my life. Right. It's huge, Pete. It is, yeah, I get it. <laughs> 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 why, 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 do, why, do, why, why um, do we, like yesterday when we were experiencing that we can perceive this shine or this beauty or this, this presence just in everything? Isn't it? It's because it's because somehow the absolute and the relative, or the the infinite and the finite form, it's all it's all interpenetrating. It's all becoming one thing, mm. and then and then and then everything is extraordinary. <laughs>